Cyber John. It's okay. I don't. I don't need a, a screen or anything. Um, so I guess I have like 60 seconds. Is that how it works? All right. So um, I started a petition maybe two weeks ago on change.org, um, petitioning assembly member, state assembly member here in California named Matthew Dubabney, who's introduced this bill called AB1326. Has anyone heard of this? AB1326. Uh, it's the bit license. It's come to California. And they're basically trying to raise the barrier to entry for startups. $5,000 non-refundable application fee. And if they deny your application, you're out $5,000. And that's not even to uh, talk about the actual costs associated with complying with this bit license. Um, if this sounds ridiculous to you, um, this, this kind of bill would apply to all Bitcoin businesses, uh, except merchants. That's pretty much the only businesses that were excluded, but any other business that uh, deals with Bitcoin, and it's not really clearly defined even in the bill, so, so it could really apply to anybody having anything to do with Bitcoin. Um, if, the, if, the, if these kinds of requirements sound ridiculous to you, uh, please sign my petition. It's on change.org. You can find it. Withdraw AB1326. Thank you. I was also going to talk about AB1326, um, but I despise change.org. Change.org is worthless. Um, if change.org had any influence on policy, then le marijuana would have been legalized nationally four years ago, because all the major petitions on change.org are for legalizing cannabis. Um, but I do hate the idea of AB1326. If it passes, I'm out of business. Um, my Lamassu machine, which I've had in my home for two, uh, over a year now, finally has a home, and it's now being hosted by uh, Nakamoto's uh, at 20 Mission. So now you can um, get Bitcoins uh, at an ATM that's really easy to use, um, and you can spend them right there in the store. But please, just write your assemblyman, write, uh, write your state representative, and tell them to oppose AB1326. I actually like change.org. Um, that's me. Um, the OK Turtles Foundation is uh, where I hail from. We are getting ready to uh, launch a crowdfunding campaign to modify OpenSSL and maybe LibreSSL uh, to give it blockchain powers. Um, a lot of people don't realize that when they use their web browser to access an HTTPS website, and it shows a little lock icon there, that that connection can still be uh, intercepted, it could still be surveilled, etc. The system isn't very secure. So we're working on a way to actually man in the middle proof those connections to protect them from all non, what's called uh, non-fundamental man in the middle uh, attacks. And for, to incentivize donations, we're going to offer to the top five donors, a, uh, a special bit seed box uh, with DNS chain pre-installed on it. So yeah, uh, check out OKTurtles, okay uh, the Twitter account for news. Thanks. Hey, folks. I'm Robert Schwenker. I run Blockchain University. And we have another course coming up April 11th. And there's teachers like uh, Greg Slapock and gave a great lecture last time on DNS turtles and Ryan X Charles in the room here and uh, Vitalik Buterin taught and others. So if you're interested in getting involved, blockchainu.co. Thanks, guys. Hey everyone, just wanted to let you know we're hosting a uh, hackathon, actually. Uh, Coinbase is sponsoring it. We're going to give away $20,000 of Bitcoin. Um, so first prize is $10,000 of Bitcoin, and it kind of goes down from there. And uh, if you've ever heard of Boost VC, it's Adam Draper's um, incubator. The, uh, he's going to select one of the top five winners of the hackathon, and you actually get a uh, $50,000 investment from him, too. Um, so it's pretty cool. We put out a blog post today with um, kind of a list of a bunch of cool ideas that we, we kind of want to see people build. 
in the Bitcoin ecosystem. Uh, it's around like remittance and spam filtering, and there's like about 20 ideas on there. So if you want to check out our blog, um, you can see that post, and we're going to post, I think, an announcement about the BitHack in about the next uh, seven days. So hopefully we'll see some cool, some cool applications get built. Uh, blog.coinbase.com. And uh, the post is not up yet, but if you sub subscribe to updates on there, you can, uh, you'll see it when it comes out. So. It, it is, yeah. Yeah, it's $10,000 of uh, Bitcoin is the first prize, so, yeah. <laughs> We're, yeah, right on. <laughs> Uh, hi, my name is Elliot, and I'm working at Braintree. We do payment processing, and uh, we're currently we have a Coinbase integration in beta. So, if anyone's interested in processing payments and having uh, Coinbase alongside uh, credit cards, debit cards, Apple Pay, PayPal, Venmo, uh, then I'd be happy to chat about that. I'm primarily working on the iOS part of it, uh, but anything related to payment processing or Braintree, I'm, I'm at Intelliot on Twitter, or we can just talk here. Thanks. Hey guys, uh, my name is Luis. I'm from the Philippines. I flew 8,000 miles to speak for one minute in front of you. <laughs> so I'm with a remittance startup called Rebit.ph. Um, if you've ever heard the term remittance to describe Bitcoin and remittance, that's, that's us. Um, we've got a site called remittance.org, which lists all of the websites and services that are doing similar things as us around the world. And we're here for the next month, and we're, we're here to learn from you guys and you know, connect with the community and see how we can all collaborate together to do something great. That's it. Uh, I just want to quickly say uh, about the AB1326 bill, I hadn't heard of it until just now, which is a little concerning, because uh, I do work at EFF, and EFF is interested in <laughs> lobbying about Bitcoin regulation. Um, so uh, we did put in comments on the, the actual bit license proposal in New York. Um, so when stuff like this comes up, uh, email info at uh, eff.org, and uh, hopefully it will get triaged to me and the, the legal team that's actually working on stopping bad Bitcoin bills from happening. Um, so just, you know, EFF's not, not all powerful, uh, but they do have lawyers and they're experienced lobbying and trying to prevent bad legislation from happening in the tech space. So, uh, so get in touch. Um, and I will probably try to have a meeting tomorrow and, uh, and look at the bill with some, some legal folks at EFF. Thank you. Last one. Hi, I'm Ryan Taylor. I've been live streaming this meetup for about the last eight months. I'm always looking for more events to live stream, especially decentralization and Bitcoin. If you have an event that you want broadcast to the world, uh, email me, rtaylor at blocktech.com. And if you want to show your support with Bitcoin, check the YouTube video description for my Bitcoin address. Thank you. Okay, thanks everyone for coming. We have